Hey there, everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back from the video of Suzerain. We're gonna continue this series, boys. In the last video, uh, we've talked basically with uh, the Minister of Economy and the Minister of Health. Uh, basically, they talked to us about the situation over in Narbel. Uh, the whole, whole situation right here, what's going on, it's a lot of poverty. Uh, we gotta try and help them out as much as possible, but uh, right now, let's see our reports really quick. Marbell Mine Disaster. Uh, more bell mine disaster, so that's not good. Uh, what about this right here? Young Swords member found decapitated. Holy shit, that's bad. That's really bad. All right, that's. I think that's it though. We're still working on the highway project. Let's see what we got. Old Swords, uh, ban youth organization. So this is just an event. We got two reform uh, reports right here. Uh, leader of the reports. Okay, and what about workers' rights? Rights bill uh, Neil uh, near completion. Okay, well, let's see what this is about ban youth organization So there's another act we got to do boys. So stability order of 1940 uh, 54 so an investigation of and the influence of young swords and red youth organization on the post assassination unrest as concluded both organizations haven't officially organized or called for legal actions, but several low mid level leaders from both have le links to insightful actions that led to deaths, injuries, and instability. This allows us to ban the organization, ban the young swords, ban the red youth, ban the red youth and the young swords. I'm not banning anybody. I'm not banning anybody. They can do whatever they want. I think the young swords though are the um I think they're the um, the the fascist guy, right? The right wing. I think they're the right wing, I believe. Red youth is obviously the uh the left wing. Well, I think the right wing should be banned though. I'm going to ban the right wing, boys. I'm going to ban the young swords. There we go. Boom. I made my decisions, boys. The young sword has been banned. Just like that. So, that's in there. BFA, uh, no, there we go. These guys are being banned. So, ex president and our founder Tarkin Soul declared the Bloodish Freedom Party to be banned. Young Swords are banned. The re to restore order, the emergency decree declares the Young Swords to be an illegal criminal organization. The group is to be disbanded and all its members will be arrested effective immediately. There we go, boys. So, we banned them once and for all. Got term three right here. Decide to indefinitely ban the young swords. So young swords are the the right wing, yeah, nationalists. Yeah, um, I, I had to do it, boys. Much prefer uh, keeping the red youth is okay. Young swords, though, the right wing. There's no place for nationalists. There's no place for fascists in here. There's definitely no place for that. Uh, so let's see the news. Administration announced ban of the swords effectively immediately. Ben also states that it is strictly legal. All right, has also uh, opposed the ban strongly, while a good majority of the assembly has been a, a, a content with the decision. Uh, young source bans. There we go. Shocking mis mis misogynist rally, and education privatization proven successful. There we go. All right, so let's see uh, what we got right here. All sorts. Next up, uh, read the report. Anti young source operation. Upon receiving the order, thousands of police officers conducted cease and desist operations. Officially, there we go. So, uh, we're good. We're good. It's officially done. They're banned. Uh, and they've been arrested. I was walking to my office since today was, to uh, was the day to edit and make the final changes to the proposal. Uh, for the proposal to change the constitution of Swordland. The reform committee finally bore tangible results and the draft of the changes were about to be present for me, uh, to me. Uh, I walked in marble corridors, uh, corridors of the palace, thinking about the huge decisions I was going to take. At the entrance to my office, my secretary Livia greeted me. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Livia. Uh, how are you today, sir? I'm perfectly fine. Uh, I feel better than I've seen you. Uh, I'm, I'm about to uh, most make the stressful decision. No, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I'm doing all right. all right. Let's see what we got. Good to hear. Uh, she paused before taking my coat. It looked like she had something on her mind. Mr. Rain, can you give me a hint about your reform plans? If you ask me, taking away the judge's immunity is long overdue. 
but it might uh, anger a lot of people in these halls. Look, I do have to take away the judge's immunity. It, it has to be done because they're, uh, they're not on my side. They're against me anyways. You'll find out with the rest of Sword and Suit Heart. I'll take that into consideration. Nothing's been this, uh, decided yet. Uh, well, you'll find out with the rest uh, of Swordland. Understood. I'll take your coat now. Uh, Lita left, uh, left to hang up my coat. I entered my uh, office and sat down. No longer after Peter, Lucian, and Naya arrived. Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. President. Good morning. Time to finally get to this pro uh, proposal uh, going. Peter placed the draft in front of me. After your modifications, we will be starting the process. All right, let's start. Uh, can we get uh, get over each other over the points that are discussion of the draft? No, let's start. Let's start it up. All right, let's start the Constitution, boys. Section 1, Presidential Vetoes. So according to Article 77 and 82, the President may veto a bill by returning it to the Assembly with a written statement. The articles do not contain any information on how to override a veto. As a consequence, the President has an absolute veto power that cannot be overridden uh, by the Grand National Assembly under any circumstances. Remove the vetoes, limit the vetoes. Three to five majority can override. I'm going to limit it. I'm not going to remove the veto because the veto is kind of useful. I'm going to limit it. The new constitution will allow the Grand National Assembly to override the veto if they have the majority of people. All right. So they have to agree on the fact that they want to remove my veto. All right. So uh, or limit me. So I'm just going to remove it uh, or limit it. Next, section two, amendment process. So according to the article five of the constitution, an amendment may be proposed by members of the assembly with at least 150 signatures, a two thirds majority vote in the grand national assembly and a simple majority vote in the Supreme Court is required to for the amendment. As a consequence, the Supreme Court, which is not part of the elected legislative uh, branch, has enormous power in the amendment process. Remove the Supreme Court's vote. Exactly. We're removing the Supreme Court's vote, boys. Boom. Uh, impeachment process. According to Article 17, the prince, uh, President of Swordland is not uh, re responsible for the actions performed in the exercise of presidential duties, which is bullshit. Uh, except in the case of high treason or violation of the Constitution. In such cases, the President may be impeached by the Supreme Court in joint session with an absolute majority of its members. Therefore, the impeachment process only includes the Supreme Court and it gives them great power over the executive. Uh, all right, so the Assembly and the Supreme Court may impeach. So they both impeach. President may not be impeached. Do not change the assembly may may impeach. I want both of them to be able to impeach me, boys. Both of them should have the power to impeach the president. Let's do it. Appointment of ministers. According to the constitution, the president appoints the ministers to the council of ministers uh, from elected members of the uh, assembly. So a confidence vote will be required. Granted, the National Assembly nominates the ministers. Confidence votes. The president may nominate ministers, uh, which will require confidence vote from the no uh, Grand National Army uh, for their appointment. Okay, so it's either I don't change anything, I I do all the decision, which I'm not going to do that. I get the confidence. I need a confidence vote, so I can vote for the, for the ministers myself, but I need a confidence vote from everyone else as well. Or I just let them decide all together. I think I want a confidence vote. I want uh, uh, that's much better. Electoral threshold. A political party needs a minimum of 10% of the national uh, total national vote to win seats in the Grand National a Assembly. Uh, nope. Decreases to uh, decreased it to 3%. Boys, I want everybody to have a seat on the as many people as possible to uh, to have a seat on the assembly. That's how I am. I want everyone to have a chance to be uh, elected. So, three percent. Let's go. That's a, that's ma uh, that's major, man. From ten to three percent. That's a lot. Uh, according to Article uh, 18 and 51, the president is able to issue decrees on political, social, and economic issues that would carry the force of law. They could not contra uh, contradict the constitution. They are subject to the, ju the judicial law. Therefore, the president may issue increases in many subjects without going through the National Assembly. 
However, the Assembly may pass uh, legislation on the same subject to override presidential decrees. Uh, decrees require an, a, an enable black uh, act, so the president may not be uh, will not be able to issue decrees that would carry the force of law without a, an a, an enable act from the Great Assembly. Yeah, that would take forever though to do that. But that's the democratic way, right there, boys. But I'm not sure about that one. The president will not be able to issue a decree. No, I'm not. I'm not going to change that. I'm not going to change the section C. Presidential decrees should stay the same. Uh, I think I should keep that just because sharing it too much, it would take too much time to actually make a decision. You know, at some point you got to make a decision. So I'm, I'm not changing that. Uh, term limits. All right. Two terms, boys. Or unlimited terms. So uh, uh, shall be elected for four years. However, there are no mentions of a term limit. Okay, so there's no limits. So it's either there's no limits or it's a two term limit. I'm gonna do the two term limit. I'm gonna do a term limit, boys. I think it's the only the best thing to do uh, to prevent someone from being a dictator, becoming a dictator. You gotta have a term limit. It's gotta happen. So uh, a term limit uh, activated. Immunity of justices. So judges can be impeached by the assembly. Absolutely, I'm definitely do that, uh, doing that. Honorary membership of Tarkin's soul. So. Article 99 of the Constitution defines the member of honor title. It's appointed to procedure as well as the rights their, uh, as the rights their members may exercise. A member of honor has absolute immunity, immunity and is considered to be a permanent member of the Grand National Assembly. They are given control of their own personal security team provided by the state's presidential guard. A member is also eligible to live in a special private residence provided by the state for free. The only person who holds the title is Tarkin Soul. I can't allow that to happen, boys. Abolish honorary membership. Every, pre every president is an honorary member. Abolish immunity, immunity for honorary members. Yeah, I'm not gonna do, abolish the uh, membership. The membership can stay, but the immunity cannot stay. Absolutely cannot stay, boys. So I'm gonna just abolish the immunity. Done. I'm, uh, I'm sure. Let's do it. There's the Constitution, boys. Let's see if it's gonna pass or not. Uh, after I made the final changes for the proposal, uh, proposal, I showed it to my team. They read the changes and discuss it among themselves. Lucian spoke afterwards. Looks like the amendments are ready to be proposed. But I have to say this too. This new electoral threshold will be very, really difficult for the party to accept. Our guys are not uh, fond of that idea. That's true. It will be tough to get all of their support. Some of our members may try to openly fight against us. We'll figure it out. I'll make sure the party follows me. I I'm prepared to reconsider it if it comes to that. Look, I'll make sure the party follows me. We will do all, all do uh, our best to make it uh, work, sir. Any other comments before we proceed? I will say that I do not agree with the new law that gives the assembly the power to impeach the judges in the Supreme Court. Why? Because you are a judge yourself? My girl. We gotta have the power to impeach the judges as well because they can't have all the powers in the world. You know, nobody should have uh, infinite power. I'm also against the Chief of Justice and an obstructionist behavior. But even if we get rid of all of them, the new judges will be less in independent with this law. They, uh, they will be scared to go against the administration when it is needed. They need, their, uh, they need to their protection to do their job. Otherwise, the new ones will be pawns just like Saul, uh, Saul's old guards. But it's more important than we, that we get rid of the old guards, Miss uh, Morgna. Exactly, we need to get rid of them. After the obstacles are gone, we can strive to make it better. However, he turned to me. You have to be careful, Anton. I'm sure you will be fine, but with all that's happening out there, we, uh, we need to prepare against these threats one way or the other. I am aware. I appreciate, appreciate the feedback. Constitution uh, is not yet changed. We will prepare. We'll prepare in the meantime. Well, I'm aware. I'm aware. Well, I think uh, I think we can proceed now. I would personally work on the wording of this proposal with my hand-picked legal experts. With Mr. Uh, Mrs. Morgna's representation as the most experienced attorney, this proposal will be bulletproof. Chief Justice Orsol will have a hard time convincing others to oppose it. Uh, I'm, in the meantime, you must introduce this uh, proposal to our party. You will need to get them back uh, us and we, if we want to pass it through the assembly. 
Sir, I advise you first talk to the leaders of both conservative and reformist wings of the party. As far as I'm aware, Mr. Clavin supports the reforms already. Miss Tory will be the real problem. Uh, she became the real heavyweight uh, after we uh, left uh, for the execu executive. Any advice in regards to dealing with them? Uh, I, I will handle them. I'll just handle them. Of course, don't show any weaknesses, sir, and be prepared to reconsider the proposal if it comes to that. Thanks for the advice. Understood. But I, I will not give in. Wish you good luck with the party, sir. I think we can end the meeting here. She all shook hands and we left. All right, so we uh, created the constitutional, uh, the brand new constitution, boys. Interesting one for sure. Uh, we'll see. We're going to have to meet with the two party members, though. I uh, have cited a draft constitution change package to uh, reform the country, boys. All right. So we're today, Richter's victory over rain. So our sources inform us that the plan is underway by the government to start the drafting of the reform package. There we go. Rain administration has reached out. Led by Frank Richter, despite his history of criticizing and opposing the USP, even called Rain yet another pound that was put forward as candidate during camp the, the campaigns. Might not be with us, I don't know. Preparations on the way for the annual uh, Rain Fee Festival. Uh, do we have anything to look at right here? We do have a report. Reform committee started preparations. Good. And that's about it. All right, let's go uh, into the main thing right here in Nachavin. Restaurant Hysteria. So we're, we have a dinner with the council members. So we were in Lachavan to work with the business council to assess weaknesses in the economy. Simon organized a dinner with the affluent economic figures of Sorland. When we arrived, the streets were bustling with activity. Even though the atmosphere in the country was tense, Lachavan uh, didn't seem to worry. Uh, together with uh, Walker Tusk, these guys, all of them, we entered the renowned Hysteria uh, restaura uh, restaurant for, by the coast. A short blonde man whose em uh, embroidered pocket read manager greeted us and waved his arm in excitement as he told us how pleased he was to have us in his establishment. Beaming with pride, he led us to a private room and got us seated at a large table covered to, for the occasion with a maroon tablecloth. We were, uh, we were quickly served by a group of servers. Walter spoke as they started taking our orders. I recommend the Lachavin Salmon, President. Uh, you have to taste this local delicacy here. The best in Sorland. I don't like fish. Uh, you're not going to tell me to eat fish? I don't like fish. I appreciate uh, uh, Yeah, but I don't like salmon. There we go. Really? Too bad. I guess that's your last. Order traditional Swordish bean stew. Order uh, lesbian pasta. I'm just going to uh, order some pasta. There we go. Order of salad for the second dish. No more salad, rice, some rice, I guess. There we go. That's two started, uh, two starch dishes, President. That's not good. Thank you, but this is fine. What is your suggestion? Why don't you focus on your own order, Mr. Mr. Tusk? You know what? I'm just gonna say thank you, but this is fine. Uh, one of the servers quickly jumped on this conversation and told me uh, that Mr. Tusk was right and went on to explain why two starch dishes do not go together. He then offered me uh, to prepare me something special. No, I want exactly what I ordered for Christ's sake. The server looked uneasy. He replied, I'm sorry, Mr. President. This is a very special establishment and we want to provide the best quality services. Therefore, we cannot serve two star dish starch dishes as you do not complement each other. Oh, come on. It's the president. Serve him what he wants for Christ's sake. Exactly. If I want something, you better give it to me. If I want two star dishes... Just give it to me for Christ's sake. After a brief, uh, brief argument, the server agreed to serve my order and apologize. The servers placed glasses in front of each of us and served bre uh, bread and water. After they were done taking orders, they quickly left us alone in the private room. Mr. President, I didn't have the poss uh, um, possibility to thank you for coming today. Your presence means a great deal. Uh, she is the chairman of CBS, whatever that means. Uh, indeed, sir, it is an honor to dine with you. The co-chairman of NBC. Is that like a bunch of... Uh, oh, that might be the actual uh, leaders. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, thank you. It's great to hear you here with the members of... Well, I'm just going to say likewise. Uh, we should thank Simon for organizing this meeting. No need for that. I hope uh, everybody enjoys the, uh, the evening. So that's the Minister of Economy. 
So I'm in Jester, the uh, the expensive looking red wine bottle that one of the servers had jo uh, just brought to the table. Mr. President? No, that looks amazing. Yes, no, uh, no thank you. Are you serious, Mr. Rain? Are you going to pass on a Chateau de Falanco? Uh, 1934. Yes, let's try it. Thank you. I prefer something regional or at least swordish. Exactly. I see. Wine patriotism. He laughed and gestured at the waiter to bring the best swordish wine that they had. It is solved. The waiter brought a bottle of Dendelion. The, uh, the world famous red wine from Boren. Simon went ahead and grabbed the bottle from the waiter. He poured some in my glass and waited for me to taste it before filling it up. Uh, of course, nobody can say not, uh, no to the bottle of wine by Gerald of Ribery. Uh, I took a sip. It was bitter. Honestly, it tasted like any other wine. Yeah. Uh, how, how is it? Is the taste not to your liking? Uh, is the taste to your liking? It's fine. It tastes like any other wine, I guess. The wine doesn't even, ha uh, doesn't even need testing. Should I fill your glass or would you want another drink, sir? I I think I'm good. I I don't I want any have anything for now. Yeah. As you wish, Mr. President. He grabbed the bottle again to pour some into Wallstoss glasses. You didn't have to serve us, Mr. All. There are servers around here. After filling everybody's glasses, Simon stood up and raised his glass. I'd like to raise the toast to all of you here today. We are meeting here tonight in difficult times, but I believe that with hard work, cooperation, and trust, we will get through this period as well. I'd like to thank Mr. Rain again for his decisiveness when it comes to the economic uh, policies. I'm sure we will stop the recession. I also thank Mr. Tosk for being here with us today. His present is an honor. And of course, my colleagues from the Business Council. Without you, none of these would, be, uh, would have been possible. Let's drink for the future cooperation and growth for a prosperous Soilland. Everybody raised their glasses and toasted each other. After a couple more minutes, the servers arrived with our meals. Food tasted amazing. Walter was right. This place must have been the best place in all of Lachavan. So how did you find the food of the best fine dining restaurant in Lachavan, Mr. President? Not a big fan, uh, fan of fancy food, but I must admit that it's very tasty. It's particular one is masterpiece. It's okay. This, can get, uh, this can't get old. It's an experience. The cheese. Yeah, the, che the chef must be tipped. Definitely, it doesn't, but it. Uh, but I will take care of the tip. Don't be worry. I'm always generous when it comes to small things. All right, tipping is no small thing. I actually don't f don't like giving tips. People have salaries for a reason. That's bullshit. Tips are uh, are very important. But anyway, hard uh, hard things going in the Maroon Palace. The pressure must have increased about after you intended the, that funeral. Now this is a thing though. The tipping. Just point forward right here. When we were, when I was to Euro, in Europe in real life, we uh, tried to tip servers and stuff, but tip tips don't exist in Europe because apparently they get charged extra, they get paid extra or something like that. So they don't need tips, they don't accept tips, which is very in interesting because in America, it's uh, it's it's. Uh, you need to uh, to tip someone. If you don't tip someone, it's illegal. You got it's actually you, it's actually a law that you have to tip someone, a, mi a certain minimum. So it's kind of interesting that it's two opposite sides of the world basically. On one one side, you 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 actually are forced to tip someone. And on the other side, you are forced to not tip someone. You cannot tip someone. It's like funny as hell, man. It's two different sides, boys. It's such a difference in the world. I don't know. Can you not have a middle or something? Uh, the pressure was already high. Not much has changed. I did, it did, but it was the right decision. I have to say, the future is looking good. It's tough, but our work on the new constitu constitution continues. There we go. Uh, we all ho hope so. As we conversed with Michael, I heard Walter raise his voice in an apparent argument with Edith and Simon. We both stopped listening. To listen, Arcasia knows the right way of doing business. Their approach to the world is real and raw. I'd prefer to cut uh, the, that cultural approach in comparison to the niceties. Well, I mean, it's a nice country to visit too. I have traveled there often in business trips. Their attitude on all countries are nice to visit if you have a ca have the cash. Stay silent. Money doesn't turn the world around. Travel is the is the least you can buy. You can buy with it. 
Well, certainly not all exactly how the people won't do how How about the people who don't have uh, extra cash to spend? I'm just gonna stay silent Michael join in it certainly depends on what you are looking for cultural tourism doesn't require a fancy hotel Last time I went somewhere for the sort of, for that sort of thing was at the university and even that uh, we even then we had our wild times things to contrast connected into our entourage also Walter is taking us down that rabbit hole again. By the way, I saw the constru uh, construction of the highway has already started. I have my concerns about the company, but I hope they do a good job. I expect that the project will bring new investments from Manola. The mood is already becoming positive. The result uh, relief package was also a great investment. It, is al it has already see uh, saved many businesses from de declaring, uh, declaring bankruptcy. Exactly. I definitely needed that because it slowed down the economy decreasing, boys. I have to congratulate Mr. Rain for such major projects. Uh, thank you for your support, Mr. Aven. There we go. Of course. Mr. All also deserves credit, of course. Our great economy minister. Is there a joke coming? Why? I thought you said you were great, uh, great at economy. He laughed. Uh, I've heard you that you brought a new villa, Simon. Bought a new villa? What the hell? I don't comment on rumors, but I'll make an exception since my uh, we have are among friends. It's true. You are doing a great job, you, uh, so you deserve it. a new villa is a bit too much. Especially in the economy when people are suffering, my guy. So what? My car collection is nearing the 40 mark. They are all, uh, all old-timer models. Maybe it shows overcompensation somewhat. Everybody is free to do whatever they want. I always advocate against ostentatious uh, behavior. Money shouldn't be wasted for luxury. How can you speak like that? Look, maybe it shows overconsumption somewhat. I'm, I'm just gonna say that. Don't expect the rich to become modest in the near future. That would be a pipe dream. Uh, some people are most sensible. I believe balance is possible. Yeah, balance is possible, my guy. I agree. Edith Wu was sitting to my left, gently put her hand over my arm for a few seconds. Come on, let's not talk about our fin uh, finance and politics for now. We came here to relax. She turned to Walter and Simon. Isn't that right, gentlemen? They nodded at her and took a sip from their drinks. She slightly leaned towards me. So, Mr. Rain, why don't you tell us what's uh, behind that strong character of yours? I've heard that you are uh, that you were brought uh, brought up in the capital and experienced all the sh power shift as it happened. Is that right? It must have been tough. I try to leave my past behind and focus on today. It, it's who we have to be. It's who we have become that matters exactly. That's what I say after a good night of drinking. I never met your family, Mr. President. How they are? How are they doing? If you don't mind me asking. I prefer not talk about my family. We don't talk much since I became president. Uh, they're doing great. We have no problems at all. That's great to hear. You must be very proud of you. Uh, well, family is everything. My, f my advice would be to make sure that Frank has a solid relationship with you. It's your future, after all. I am trying to my, my best to be a good father. Seems to be somewhat introverted. He's going through the teenager periods. Difficult to connect with him. He's a little shy. The kid can handle himself. He doesn't need anybody else. Exactly. I said that about my daughter too, and she dropped out of university. Uh, wish that my th that was my son's biggest problems. Darren seemed to be doing fine. I saw that his yacht party in Benfi made the local news. Well, the rascal didn't even ask for permission to use the yacht and just took it. Basically stole it. Good news is that I finally convinced him to go to university and we still study economics in Lachevin Business School. That That's a good choice. Having a degree in Sordland separates you from the rabble. Uh, rabble. And we especially need more people who understand economics. Maybe your son will be a great future economics. I wouldn't count on that. But I agree that we need more economists uh, to enter politics. Thankfully, we have a president who seems to be as well versed in economics as Alfonso. He turned to me. I'm very confident in your abilities to fix your recession. Look at we, uh, what we cost. Studying doesn't get uh, get you to the finish line. Uh, inspiration for all reformists. We are in this mess. His political failure nearly destroyed us. Thank you. Well, look at what he cost. Studying doesn't get you to the finish line. Uh, true, but I think it was it was his ambition that brought it down, uh, brought him down. Too many big changes in short time frame. 
A correction, it wasn't his policy that destroyed him, it was the whole guard. Exactly. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I always had a good feeling about this sudden fall. Of course it was, they're a big threat. Uh, he trended their economic uh, power base over the country through a vast privatization plan. They removed him and backed you after. Walter stopped the consp uh, with the conspiracy theories. I think we had enough drinks. Everyone went quiet. After a long silence followed by some chit chat, Walter ordered a bottle of whiskey. That's one good looking bottle. The waiters br uh, brought one of the finest Arcadian whiskeys. It was time for a toast. All right, uh, Samuel, would you give a toast? I'm not going to drink. Let's uh, let's just drink this up and leave. Simon? Uh, Simon stood up. He seemed to have a slight issue with his balance. We uh, made the wheels of fortunes always turn in our favor. The future uh, of abundance await us. Cheers to that. I think it's time we call it a night. Edith stood up. Uh, I want to thank you, Mr. President, to jo for joining us and you, Simon, for putting all this together. For uh, well, thank you for all uh, for all being here. It was great. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever. And we all went uh, gone. So, President, a moment uh, alone, please. So, Tuss wants to talk to me. He called me inside the small VIP lounge. Ignore him and leave. What the hell? Why would I do that? He wants to talk to me. I'm going to talk to him. Uh, I'll follow him. Uh, usually, the Loderberg spokesman doesn't directly comment on the administration. But I'd like to say a few things since this was a special evening. Uh, I'm all ears. Sure, if you have to. I don't want to hear your comments. No, I'm all ears. Finally, a president that listens to the people. It won't be easy to pass a new constitution through the assembly and the Supreme Court. We could help you get through it. Uh, it true. If you, in return, help us with a few economic requests. Uh, Walter lifted cigars and took a few drags before continuing. The consensus is that we see eye to eye in the economic direction you have taken by promoting a market economy. I'm glad the group is supportive. There are many who put their trust in you. Walter smiled. He looked me in the eye. You rejected our previous discreet offer to pick under all construction for the execution of the first mega infrastructure project. This action led to disappointment in the group. We are aware of the upcoming tax meeting and it would be a step in the right direction if we private, if private corporations would get a tax cut. Uh, to boost the economy with job creation, of course, and the positive side effects would be our support to the administration throughout the entire team. I will give large private, uh, private corporations a tax redu reduction. Tax reduction for companies, the hell? I will uh, make a tax decision objectively. Can't promise any, uh, you anything. The world will not be influenced. Uh, I can't promise you anything. All right. I'm not going to do it straightforward. I, I, I can't promise you anything on that. Oh, let's not be hasty. The recession will end if Ludenberg is on your side, President. All right. So why can't we all just be friends? Maybe we can. All I s I'll see what I can do. I don't think so. I have other plans for the economy. Well, uh, we'll see. I'll see what I can do. Excellent, glad to hear this. The group wants to do a private uh, corporation tax cut and privatization in healthcare and education. Well, that's not gonna happen. Healthcare is not gonna happen. Education, we'll see. Uh, I will give a private cut, enable privatization in health, enable cut. No, I'm not gonna do that. That is too much of an ask. On, uh, on third thought, I have to reject. That's a shame. I did offer you a peace branch. That was an awkward silence. Either way, President, we are here and always ready to work with you. If you change your mind, don't forget that. There is nothing to work, uh, nothing to work together on. Good evening. I, I'll think. Uh, look, I'll think about it, but not now. Walter left, and Sergey come up, uh, come to me, uh, pick me up, enter the car, and we left. Yeah, that guy is is so annoying. That's twice now. He keeps like this time around. He didn't try to bribe me. He was a bit more like uh peaceful about it but still like he wants something in return i'm not gonna give him something like that that's tax evasion do you really does he really think i'm gonna give him the ability to be uh, uh, to do tax evasion forget about that and on part he wants to he wants me to actually uh, privatize the healthcare situation i'm not gonna do that Healthcare is gonna stay free no matter what boys so no if someone wants to change the way I do things, forget about it, all right? I made some promises I'm going to make due to my promises, no matter what. 
Uh, bills on the rights of workers being drafted. Uh, prison meets with business council. And Morbell Mine Disaster, 112 dead. That is not good. All right, well, I'll leave it right here, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.